Before we start today and get into the comedy, though, we would like to talk about something um, serious that happened this week. Uh, as you're all probably aware, uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, took his own life this weekend in his jail cell. And we just wanted to take a moment and talk to everybody out there and let them know that no matter what's going on in your life, uh, even if you're looking at life in prison, um, even if you've you know, been accused of trafficking underage girls to a cabal of elite businessmen and world leaders, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You know, it's never too late. There's always someone to talk to. Your mistakes don't define you. So we would just like to take a moment and, and our thoughts and prayers to Jeffrey Epstein and all yeah. of his family members. It's um, so hard to see your heroes go down, yeah. you know? Yeah, so. Uh, just kidding. Nobody cares. He was a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, he was a bad Nobody guy. cares. <laughs> uh, let's start the show. My name's Trevor Moore. This is The Trevor Moore Show. Thank you guys for watching. If you're listening on Sirius XM, we're at Channel 95 right now, you can call in at 1-833-TREVOR-1. Uh, so go ahead and call in. We'll answer your questions on the air. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this was taped a couple days ago, like we said last time. So uh, you'll just have to listen on Wednesday to call in. Uh, let me introduce you to my co-host, Blair Saki. Blair. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thanks Hi, Trevor. For, thanks for being here again. Uh, it's great to see you again. Yeah? Yeah, so much has happened since the last time. How did you take the Epstein news? Oh, well, I I was like, wow, really going to miss the guy, you know? So, yeah, yeah just kind of one foot in front of the other yeah. now. Yeah, it's been a long me. week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my other co-host, Sam Brown, over here. Sam is running social media. Now, um, every show, we take a, a problem that the world is facing, and then we solve it. And uh, that's what we're going to do here tonight. So let's see, what is our question of the day? The question of the day is war. Wow. Again, not a question. Not a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last but weekend was sex. Last weekend was sex, but this is war. Uh, so we're going to fix war. Uh, what do we think about war? Is um, Thank God for this show, because we need to solve it quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're constantly getting into fights with Iran. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're, uh, it seems like sure. that is about to pop off at any moment. Uh, right. North Korea. Yeah. Um, yeah. is, is that bad, or is some war good? I'm not a big fan of war, personally, mm -hmm. I don't know, um, but I feel like, you know, our po our powers that be like to kind of maybe like a fight. <laughs> oh, the powers that be love war. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. It's big business. Well, sometimes things need to change, though, so. That's true. There have been good okay, wars. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> there have been right. good wars, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, what about the Civil War? Right. That's a good Ooh. war. Ooh, good point. Because wow. that made yeah. slavery illegal. How about that oh, one, sorry. Blair? Uh, came out packing on that one. World War <laughs> One? No, World War Two. World War Two. World War yeah. Two uh, stopped. Made Nazis illegal. Damn. Uh, Jeez. Holocaust. That's the right. Holocaust. Yeah. Yeah. It's illegal to have a Holocaust now because of <laughs> World War Two. Right. Um, That's a plus. Vietnam. Right. All was, right. That okay. was a, that was a bad war. W was it? I don't know what Vietnam was about. Uh, <laughs> I think it was the French were trying to get some colonies back, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. What's World a war colony. A colony. It's uh, like an old city that uh, uses horses. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Like tents and stuff. Yeah, a tent city. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. How about this? World War Two, Vietnam, Civil War, <laughs> Mary Kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> World War II. Yeah. <laughs> Marry Civil War and kill. What was the last one? Vietnam. Vietnam. Marry the Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. I have a huge heart. Everybody knows it. Yeah. I think I'm going to go the same, actually. I think the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sam, who do you want to f? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, f Vietnam, right? Yeah. Like, f Vietnam. No, but that's it's not, you're using f wrong. Oh, all right. Like, f right. is like, you're very attractive. So kill Vietnam. I think you're right. Kill with that. Vietnam. Yeah. Mary World War Two is what I would go with. Okay, because there's like you're romantic. Band of Brothers is cool. Yeah, you remember Are you that? Say the, the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said. Sam, oh, wait, oh yeah. Civil War. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll edit that out. That was, was Sam's good... racist. <laughs> <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> well, 
Oh, okay, but I'm dear. not anti-Semitic. All right, so, that, uh, so <laughs> let, let's talk about war for a second. Like, um, you know, why do we go to war in the first place? What's the real justification? Uh, even the noblest wars seem to have uh, conspiracy theories attached. You ever notice that? Yeah. They say Pearl Harbor, that we knew about Pearl Harbor before mm -hmm. that happened. Uh, the sinking of the Lusitania, the killing of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Oh my God, I love that band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, talking about the Epstein thing earlier. Right. This is the this is Jeff. the week, Jeff Epstein, yeah. <laughs> Jeffy E. Uh -huh. This is the week that uh, conspiracy theory went mainstream because everybody, whether you're a progressive or a conservative, everybody believes there's some sort of conspiracy went on. Like other yeah. people, some people think Trump had something to do with it. Some people think the Clintons. Yeah, but then Trump retweeted that uh, Bill Clinton killed him. So <laughs> 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 now we know what happened. Yeah, confirmed. <laughs> I am going to bring out our, our first guest, our oh. war expert. War expert. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Holmes. Oh. Whoa! Oh, wow. Here to talk about war. <laughs> our war expert. Oh, let's go again. Hi, Pete. Thanks for being on the show. What is that? Yeah, what is that power this move? Is professional. So you you're sat in the middle. No, so you're closer <laughs> to the host. No, I see that. But no, then he wants you down farther. Oh my God! Wow. No, no, no. Okay. I liked it, but. It was weird. <laughs> nice to be here. Pete, uh... <laughs> what is this logo? Why this, are, is, this is the only thing you should be talking about is this, this logo. This is me with as a telephone. No, that's Donny Osmond. And it's above <laughs> as a seahorse. <laughs> Rainbows. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, over Los Angeles. You don't look like that. You look like a musketeer now. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. And <laughs> I don't care for it. We've got a wow. lot to get to today, so we're gonna we're gonna get to our first thing, which is uh, war. Uh, what, what is it good we, for? We, yeah. <laughs> were you ever in the military? <laughs> that's what motivation for them to like poke with their bayonets. Well, I look like a pillow person that they would bayonet. <laughs> I have not been in the military, if you can't tell by my soft maybe, features. Maybe you drove an ambulance or something. That's very That's, sweet yeah. of you. Yeah. There is a registered nurse here named Chris, and she may be, were you in the military, Chris? No, I was not. Thank uh, you. For those, listen, we have a nurse here in the studio because of this. This is what, <laughs> that's an excellent uh, segue. We're going to do this thing. Uh, so we have the requirements to be a Navy SEAL. <laughs> what we have here is a device that shocks people. Oh. And uh, it's uh, to see if any of us are able to put up with a large threshold of pain that you would need to uh, be a Navy SEAL. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. But that's <laughs> that's it? Says, it? That's what it says on the card. <laughs> uh, so I think we each grab one of these. This is happening? Yeah. Are you cool with getting shocked? I, I mean, sure. Okay, for everyone listening on radio, there's a device okay. we're all grabbing. Uh, yeah, for everyone pieces. listening on radio, sh you should definitely watch this. <laughs> How bad is it going to be? Uh, I don't know. Chris, I have clammy hands. I feel like that's going to conduct okay. more. It's going so to. I push this button. That's why she's here. Yeah. And it's going to flash red or green. It's going to flash one color. I don't like this. It flashes when it's red green. when it goes green. It's going to flash red, and then when it flashes green, you push the button as fast as you can, and the last person who doesn't press it gets a, a deathly lethal shock. No, when it, no. Turns, <laughs> when it turns green, I push the button? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, ready? Here we go. I'm pushing the button. It's red. I can't see. It's blinking. <laughs> I can't. This it's isn't very fair. stressful. F you. Pete, Pete is leaning. He's you. looking at it. I'm a seal. And I've been kissed by a rose <laughs> on my grave. And ha ha. <laughs> yeah, see? dude. How bad was it? Oh, my God. It's hard, right? It's I got pretty hard. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. Did it hurt okay. bad? It's, it made me go, ah. Okay, so Sam's not going to be a Navy SEAL. Uh, he's let's gonna, see. He's going to be a Navy yeah. I didn't let go of that. Let's, cool. let's keep moving on. So we also, because this That's is uh, about rude. war, we have in the other room, we have a group of people who have agreed to come on the show and play a classic war board game uh, that we can't say the name of it oh, for sure. legal reasons. Let's call it Taking Many Chances. No, it rhymes <laughs> with a uh, and well, disc. Yep. And yeah. disc, yeah. yeah. I, I, I get yeah. what you said. So <laughs> we can see them live. They're in there playing, but they're going to be playing strip uh, that is going to be the Trevor, how did you get them to do ever. this? I don't know who they are. <laughs> okay, okay. The, oh, I, I can talk to them, though. I have a walkie-talkie. Hit them on the walkie. Find out where they came from. Yeah. <laughs> That's not Hello, can you guys hear me in there? Who's Why do we have one hand? Uh, where did you guys come from? I'm from, I'm from Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rican Mafia over here. Oh my God. I bet he's from the Puerto Rican Mafia. He definitely has Russia. a mixtape on SoundCloud. And I'm from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So we got a Russian, a guy who says he's in the Puerto Rican So we Rican got Mafia. Germany, 
Chicago, Chicago Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico, and Russia. Russia. Okay. Now, uh, you guys are here on your own free will, right? You have not been trafficked. This isn't a Jeffrey Epstein kind of Jeff, thing. Jeff Epstein. Jeff Epstein. Too soon. Oh, he's polite. He, even he, he, said, he said too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> He didn't Dude, that's that. disrespectful yeah. to Jeff. He knows the guy was a pedophile, right? <laughs> it's just okay. kidding. It's not too soon. Yeah, We're yeah. definitely here on our own free will, ready to strip. Okay. Yeah, bitch. okay. All right. Well, all right. so you guys are going to be playing... <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> all night. Sorry, I said... Uh, uh, you guys are going to be... risking no, a game of... You guys are yeah. going to be risking the game of... No one can tell me I can't say... <laughs> it's one of the words. The name. Yeah, right. I'm trying to tell Pete that. Um, okay, so I'm not saying that game is. Right, so we're going to. Uh, you're going to keep playing the game, and then you're going to be losing articles of clothing as you lose territories. Correct. Correct. All right. Godspeed. We'll check in with you later. The guy wearing a bandana, by the way. That's yeah, that cheap. is cheating. You're right. Oh, you're right. Because like, he can oh, take yeah, that yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she has a scarf. Hold on. Should you tell him to take it off? Yeah. Uh, by the way, the bandana doesn't count as an article of clothing to take off. And the girl has a scarf. Oh, my God. What? That's what I said in the contract. contract. <laughs> oh That's, Pete God. just said that. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> this next part of the show is uh, something that we call, uh, that sounds pretty weird. Ooh. I love this one. You love it? Yeah. I don't like this. Okay. That sounds like if you're being abducted okay, by a so hack alien. Okay, so this is a part of the show <laughs> where we uh, talk to somebody from a group or a lifestyle that we don't really know about and might think is weird, and then we uh, kind of learn about it, and we decide if we still think it's weird or not. And I love it. today, we have uh, Mark Sargent, who is a flat earther novelist and major player in the flat earth movement. Mark, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Trevor. So uh, I'm excited to talk to you. Uh, one of the things um, that we're talking about war and everything and conspiracies, and yeah. uh, you know, this is one of the most exciting or popular conspiracies of, of recent times. Uh, tell me, how did you get involved in the flat earth uh, theory? I got into it because I tried to debunk it. I tried to disprove it over a summer back in 2014, and by the beginning of 2015, I pretty much gave up and decided to make like a cry for help video series called The Flat Earth Clues and said, you know what? I don't think it's a globe anymore. Prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. And here we are four years later. What is the number one or number two, your favorite flat earth thing? Uh, you mean the, like a flat earth proof, something I Yeah, I some, up something like, that you're like, that's the one that I couldn't crack. That kind of is what turned you. The one that turned me was Antarctica, that Antarctica was an off-limit zone to everyone. It was locked down in the 1959 Antarctic Treaty, and no company, no corporation, no country can go down there. The thing that always makes me confused is, like, with most conspiracy theories, you know, there's always some sort of motive. Like, you know, the moon landing uh, being right. faked. Like, right. you know, I don't... Good question, Trevor. You're a good host. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I just see where you're going, and yeah. I like it. I don't... I don't <laughs> what believe... is the motive? <laughs> Why you're ruining my good God, question. No, I'm sorry. I personally, you know, believe we went to the moon, but I could mm. see the, the motive for us faking it because we were in a cold war with the Russians. They were trying to do it. It could have been a propaganda thing. I get the why you would right. fake it. How are they profiting by keeping this information from us? This is more of a, the, the science, the institution of science, the foundation was built up over a number of decades and centuries. And this undoes a, undo, undoes a huge amount of it, mm -hmm. which is uh, if the world is flat and enclosed, if we're living inside a big building, what does that say about the cosmos and what science has been saying? Uh, what does that say about evolution, the Big Bang theory, dark matter, and so on and so on? Mm -hmm. It puts science back on its heel. Wait, right. Mark, I don't know anything about this, and I don't have any stake in the game, but, like, <laughs> if it's a flat Earth, do you worry that you could just, like, walk off the side of it? There's a no, ice no, no, perimeter. No, I got this one, Mark. Flat. There's an ice <laughs> perimeter. <laughs> what? what? It makes sense <laughs> if it's flat. You could fall think, think off the Earth. Uh, I know you're. I know you're probably too young. You're like what, 22, maybe? Nice. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> well. Mark, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for talking yep. uh, about this with us, everyone. Uh, if you're you're interested, you should look at his videos, check out his book. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Bye, Mark. 
Uh, we can check in with our uh, our br uh, players right now. We can see. Bisk is a type of iced tea. We're gonna get sued by them. <laughs> well, I'm seeing... You need to say a word that doesn't exist. Uh, I'm seeing some cut ass arm muscles, honey. <laughs> yeah, Why do we sick. have that guy to the uh, his back to us? That seems like a bad placing. He should be on the. Because of course they're gonna have the women facing us, so you know why. <laughs> you know why this is war. All right, but things are going. We see a lot of clothes on the ground there. Um, things are progressing here. Uh, I'm gonna move on to our next. In segment. honor of Mark, should you take the globe off your desk? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Is that like Can a... we get a, a pizza box? That'd be the polite thing to do. <laughs> Does anybody have a placemat okay. or? We're gonna go to our next segment, which a is called book. What's It Like To? <laughs> What's It Like To Make the Film Gun Self Defense for Ladies? Uh, and uh, here is a look at our film. Hey, do that to me. What? <laughs> I went to go visit my mother at work. I'd opened up my car door and I leaned down to the passenger side to grab my purse. And some, I just felt arms around my waist trying to pull me out of my car. Now this time we're going to use a pistol. Hey, what? What? Ah! Oh my God! Get, no! Back off or I'll shoot! Ah! Gun self-defense for ladies covers from basic to advanced knowledge on guns, from pistols to shotguns. Ladies and gentlemen, the star and the creator of the That and the Cool Cat yeah. franchise, Derek Savage. Derek. Let me hop right in here beside you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. How you doing? Thanks for coming Great on the show. Here, Sam. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Oh. 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 Good Thank you. Here. Thanks for inviting me. This is exciting. I have been a fan of the Cool Cat franchise for several years, okay. and a fan of that movie. And uh, I'm, I'm glad you came on the show. I just want we're talking about war, but I want to talk to you a little bit about these films. You know, one of the big problems that we're having in the country is uh, is is shooters and guns mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And uh, you know, this is you know this is something that we're very divided about could end up in a civil war about who knows mm -hmm. and and you are making movies like this um, that are you know trying to tell people how to responsibly use guns and to protect yourself yeah. and you know i mean just what's been happening here within the past two weeks it's bad for everybody it's bad for pro gun people and it's bad for just everyone yeah and and it's just heartbreaking and we need to find out how to stop this stuff that's yeah. how i feel yeah yeah you want to check in on strip shots, but keep the gun <laughs> we can check in on uh, strip <laughs> right now well, now we've got something Whoa, going geez. oh we've got uh we've got some people who have lost <laughs> oh their shirts well, it's hard to focus okay, on what you were saying <laughs> it is uh it's really uh, moving on there. where you coming from um, they never get old <laughs> <laughs> So many boobs. I Derek, still like it's just like your video. <laughs> it is like your video. Now, one of the things in that video that we that we watched okay. uh, with the gun safety for ladies um, that, that I noticed is the attacker in the car who mm. comes up. Uh, later on, you see that he's also the boom guy. That's correct. Was that intentional to show that danger can be anywhere? Like even people that you no. don't expect? Like he, he was a PA on the project and he, and he did my camera B for me. Okay. And I, I, I make deals, you know, with my production company, with people, you know, you come in, you do a good job with me, I, I'll give you FaceTime. Nice. You know, I like, I, I like to work deals, you know, with Cool Cat Productions, I even say it in there. Nice. nice. And, yeah. and I do that with all, it, it, bottom line, one of my favorite lines in a movie was an Elvis Presley movie. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. That's where that's from? Yeah, that was from the Elvis Presley <laughs> movie. And when I saw I'm that, I went. I'm sure that's not the first time. <laughs> I think it that. is, but All it was in his movie. to say, <laughs> one door closes <laughs> and another one opens. Ah, the king. Wait, wait. <laughs> and credit him all of it. What's that on it? Wait, so, so, so men already know how to use guns? Well, really, on the, in fact, I've we got so them. many comments. <laughs> on the cover, I put gun self-defense for ladies and for men, too. Oh, so it oh, covers for everybody. It. Yes, yeah. it just says. 
Okay, for well, ladies, but not for like. Um, it's for everybody. Bad girls. <laughs> well, I also want to talk about the Cool Cat franchise. Now, this yeah. is uh, a series that you have been making for kids, and this is a character that you came up with, Cool Cat, who teaches kids just uh, good morals and you know how to you know live. I'm having flashbacks to last week. <laughs> <laughs> so that's we that's from uh, which film is that from? Uh, that's for. Um, um, Cool Cat Kid Superhero. Cool, cool Cat Kid Superhero. And so you're things. you're in this. You're, you star in that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you play Daddy Derek, right? who's Cool Cat's father. Mm -hmm. And um, is uh, here's a question I've always had. Sure. Is Cool Cat, is he from a previous marriage with uh, Cool Cat's mom? Okay, I get hit with that one all the time, you do? Trevor. Okay. All the time, my yeah. friend. Come wow. on, you know, how in the hell are you a human? How are you having a cat, baby? Yeah, you and you have... got a cat oh. wife. Is there, you know, is there... and I've been called everything. Put the finger down. <laughs> but, no, I'm, um... just, I'm just agreeing. I'm with you. That's a fair opinion. Okay. should be half in, human. In my next Cool Cat feature film, which is something that's very, very important, it's Cool Cat stops a school shooting. Yes. It's something that we really need to put in. I mean, it's it, to help our kids right there. Yeah. And just to add on to the Cool Cat, it's um, like that film's an anti bullying movie, Cool Cat Kids Superhero, and it <laughs> also has um, a kid's gun safety message in it. But to get to where I was mentioning about um, Cool Cat stops a school shooting, the opening scene explains that right oh, there. Oh, it does? Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. It explains and how How, he's he's how I became Cool yeah. Cat's daddy. We I have a theory. Oh. I have I a theory. A taste. Can it, I say it, my theory? It's, it's, a, it's a war scene. That helps. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm a, I'm a gun man, so I'm you know I, I got to put a little action in it, you know. Well, okay. we've got we're almost out of time here on the show. We've got to get to our uh, we've got to get to our roundtable. Um, you, will you do the roundtable with us? Sure. Thank you so much for coming on the show. One thing I do want to say, one thing I really like about you uh, is that, and the Cool Cat franchise is that uh, you're not from Hollywood. Nope. You're not uh, you know you don't have a big industry machine behind you. You're just going out there you have a dream of something you want to do and you're just doing it yourself Grassroots, and yeah. yeah and you're letting you know people find you and that's I think that's the best way to live your life one of the main things is when you have a dream get out there and go for it yourself Whoa. don't wait for somebody yeah. else take the horse by wow. the reins yeah that's the message yeah. right there also let's check in with the uh, naked people they're getting naked. They are still, we are down, there's not much left. I'm gonna attack you now. So, no. uh, yes. how so are they all losing the I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do three? Yeah, it's yeah. really hard not to say. Uh, all right, so this is our final, this is our final segment called The Round Table. And uh, today we, uh, we wrap there up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's go to our roundtable question, which is: If there was another civil war, a second civil war, yes, they did it again. Oh no! But this time, in the I believe in the last civil war, it was everyone uh, uh, split up into two sides, and yeah. it was uh, and they just fought each other from the sides. So this yeah. time, if they had a civil war and it ended up being state by state, every state attacking every state. What state do you think would end up the winner, and why? Pete? The state of insanity. <laughs> no, I think it's like a nerdy state that has a chip on its shoulder Rhode that's going to come out swinging hard. Yeah. Rhode right. Island's got a lot to prove. The, yeah, they're like, we had no yeah. idea, but you're crazy. Yeah, yeah, who knew yeah. Rhode Island came out I think out Maine. Of... No one remembers yeah. Maine. Right. Like, I have never... Fly, sneaky. I've never met anyone from Maine. I've never yeah. met anyone who's been to Maine. How like, bad that's a good would guess. Texas feel if Maine kicked their ass? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got our ass kicked by Maine. <laughs> My theory is everyone forgets about Hawaii. Oh. They battle it out. But they can't even Hawaii get... Hawaii comes in, they, they take the time over they the ashes. There, the yeah. war is over. We could get yeah. them from so many ways. Though. Yeah. I mean, no, no, no. You're safe. Also, if we've learned She's anything local. from World War II, it's very easy to beat Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Whoa! so bad. Isn't that World War I? What? No, no, World War II. No, okay. I, get World War II. I get him confused. Derek, uh, Derek, which state do you think wins? <laughs> I'll say Texas. Texas? That makes sense. Don't yes. mess. All right, we have, uh, we have a caller. Let's uh, listen to our caller. <laughs> hey, Paul. Well, what's your question, Paul? My question is, of all the wars, what's the funniest war? 
What's the oh, funniest sick, war? Paul. Bay of Pigs. <laughs> you're fucking sick, Paul. What are all those pigs doing? The pigs are fighting each other? <laughs> there was a general of the pig war. That's, cap, right there. that's a captain. Uh, that's okay. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it looks like it. The Trojan War? I mean, that's uh, got yeah, the big yeah. horse a good that everybody yeah, knows. Yeah, because of the condoms. The, big, uh, yeah. no, the Trojan War isn't the one with the horse. Which was the horse war? What do you That's a fake war. Is that a war horse? That's a myth. I think, yeah, that's edible. No, that's not a myth. No, that's reality. Is it? Yes, sir. I didn't yeah. know which world uh, war was which. I yeah, got it. Yeah. True. This is uh, why I need to know where your gun is, because I could go down at any second. I'm, I'm not smart. <laughs> okay, we're we're out of time, oh, so no, we've got to we've got to solve you. this issue. Oh shoot. Okay. okay. So what if we talk to a flat earther? Uh, yeah. We talked to Derek about the Cool Cat franchise. Um, we talked about uh, that was about it. <laughs> yeah, I'd prefer less war, but you know, but here we are. But you're siding with the causes of the wars. Couldn't the Civil War have been like a rigorous debate? Why do we have to get into a muddy field and shoot each other? Well, I think they I, I probably started as a debate, and then they were like... Men trigger easily. It got to an impact. You know, you know what? How about this? Point. Wars are only okay if it's uh, to stop a lot of people from being enslaved or murdered. Yeah, Trevor! That's good. Okay. Those wars are fine. If it's over like an oil thing, yeah, skip it. All right, uh, let's check in on our naked topic. people one more time. Yeah, Sam notes. <laughs> Uh, there they are. <laughs> That's all the time we have. We've got to go. Uh, check check us out next week. We have our topic is aliens, oh, uh, yeah. space aliens. That's cool. gonna be cool. That's and we have a very special guest. So we'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.